Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of TD101. In this episode, we will learn all about lettering in technical drawing. Stay tuned. Okay, so lettering is the way we shape our numbers and letters as we write. Now, in technical drawing, this is done a specific way. This is done so that whoever reads what we have written will see it clearly. Now, in technical drawing, we write in what we refer to as block capitals. This is the use of capital letters to write our words right and this is done as plain and as simple as possible one thing about lettering also is the fact that it is used or written rather within guidelines these guidelines ensure that the letter the letters are horizontal as we write it also ensures that all the letters are on the same height. Now, let me go ahead. I'm going to write the letters of the alphabet and I'm going to start by firstly drawing my guidelines. Now, these are drawn using construction lines and sh you should use your 6H or 5H pencil for this exercise. So I've drawn my first guideline. Now, the measurements between these guidelines will be determined by the height that you want the letters or numbers to be. Now, in this case, I will be using five millimeters. So I'm ensuring that the stroke, the zero stroke is in line with the first guideline. And I'm going to put a dot at the five millimeter mark. Then I'm going to go ahead to draw my second guideline. Okay. I am going to now proceed to write all of the letters of the alphabet from A to Z. Please observe as I write. Now, as you can see so far, all of the letters are on the same height. That is due to the fact that I'm using guidelines. Also observe that the letters are very simple. Also observe that the letters are not slanting in any way. I'm going to proceed to write the rest. Okay, so there you have it. I want to, before we go any further, make some demonstrations of some common mistakes that are made when writing these letters. For example, some persons tend to write A like this. This, in technical drawing, is a common A. Persons also like to add a bit of flair to the letters, such as the B, the D, the R, 
the P, etc. Please try as best as possible to avoid this. Sometimes, and this tip that I'm giving you is arguable now. Sometimes persons tend to slant the letters. While it is pretty legible and pretty plain, not all teachers do this. So if you're drawing and your TD teacher tells you that this is incorrect, just abide by the teacher's instruction. But some persons have it that this is correct. So this is arguable. Another thing that is arguable is how to write I. Or J. Based on how I was taught, these are the ways that I was told not to write it. However, if you're told otherwise by your teacher, I will suggest that you follow your teacher's instructions. Okay. Um, one more thing, another common mistake, the Y. This is incorrect, while this is correct. So please observe how the letters are written and go ahead and practice. Okay, so a part of lettering in technical drawing involves the writing of numbers, right? And I'm, I'm going to demonstrate this right now. Now, I'm going to skip a line just to demonstrate something else. I'm going to write this in another line. In technical drawing, when we need to write in another line, we are actually going to create two more guidelines i'll explain why in a bit and these guidelines are the same distance apart from as the previous guidelines now i will not write here in this line i'm going to skip a line and I am going to demonstrate how the numbers are written. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine zero. Now, there are some common mistakes that are made, just like when writing the letters. For example, it is common for persons to write their sevens like this, it is common for persons to write nine like this, it is common, very common, for persons to write four like this. In technical drawing, these are not used. Additionally, this is not used. Additionally, and this one is arguable for one. But I write my one this way so as to show some separation from the letter I. Okay. The O and the zero will look alike, but you will know which is which based on what you have written. Another thing that is arguable is how to write the number three. Some persons write the number three, three like this. I'm not saying that this is wrong. I'm not saying that this is wrong. Different persons do it differently. Okay. And there you have it. This is lettering in TD 101. 
go ahead and practice because practice makes perfect. Have a good day, everybody.